A couple consumer groups have compiled a list of do's and don'ts for anyone taking advantage of the tax-free weekend. Both the Better Business Bureau and the Consumer Credit Counseling Service have some tips to make sure you get the most bang for your buck without going in debt or buying things you may not need. Check with the school for the required equipment list and then take inventory before you go and see what can be used again from the last school year. Look at what they have and then make a list of what they will need to add to that before they go shopping. Stick to that list and stick to a budget and they'll have a successful weekend. Don't forget to check with friends and family members to see if they've got supplies they don't need anymore. Draw up a budget and be sure to stick to it. The average family is expected to shell out more than $600 to prepare their children to return to school. It's easy to get caught up in the sales and officials believe it's a great way to teach kids how to stay on track when it comes to spending. Check with the big warehouse stores and buy in bulk with friends to split the cost of supplies. Do your homework. Check ads, circulars, online promotions. There are plenty of advertisements to be found to draw customers in, and you can save a few extra bucks here and there just by doing some research. Avoid signing up for any in-store credit cards that come with extra savings incentives. The interest you have to pay on most of these cards negate any savings over the tax-free weekend. Don't forget to check out any refund policies. Make sure you can return any items that you don't need for another way to save money. People think that they can return anything they purchase when there are limitations uh, set by state rules and uh, adhered to by the retailers. Uh, some of those limitations have to do with what is purchased. Uh, others, maybe there's something on sale that has a limited time for return. Steve Myers, Pro News 7.